My name is Rashad Kresi. I'm the Director of Marketing at Qatar Tourism Authority. Good afternoon and thank you for joining Breaking Travel News. We're here at ITB 2014. Uh, how's the show going for you this year? Um, it's been great. This is the largest uh, participation of Qatar Tourism Authority at ITB. We have about 22 partners. It comes as a great time when we just launched our National Tourism Strategy 2030 last week. So uh, it's a strategy we've been delivering on in the past few months. It's a long-term strategy that will set uh, the tourism sector within Qatar will define clear objectives and numbers uh, that we need to achieve by the year 2030. I know you're quite keen to get the message of the work of Qatar Tourism out to, the, uh, out to your partners in the industry and the work you've been doing. Um, yes, as I said, we've laid out uh, a very thought of uh, tourism, national tourism strategy that, that focuses on the assets that Qatar currently has and build on it in order to position Qatar as a world-class hub with deep cultural roots. Um, our tourism sector is expanding and we've increased the number of trade shows that we will be going to this year and the following, following years to tap into different markets and uh, that, that delivers on our strategy. Could you tell our viewers just a little bit about the cultural tourism offering in the destination, uh, what you're hoping will attract people? Um, well, culture is one of the main uh, prime products and authentic experiences as well. Uh, we have uh, a lot of deep culturally rooted um, products in Qatar and we want to be able to share this with the world. Um, there is a, a large portfolio of museums that are currently in Doha with more museums coming up in the pipeline thanks to the work of Qatar Museum Authorities, our partner. A lot of exhibitions and galleries all over the, uh, the city as well. Mm -hmm. So um, we think that you know, in terms of culture, um, we've been um, advanced in the region and it's a differentiation factor that differentiates Qatar from the different destinations within the region and we want to build on that. Um, as well as the authentic culture and heritage of the Qatari people, um, which we are looking to grow and build as part of the tourism uh, strategy and have this sustainable for many generations to come. And sports is obviously a very big part as well, the FIFA World Cup in 2022. Um, 122 properties uh, in the pipeline um, ahead of that. Perhaps you could just tell us a little bit about um, what markets you hope they'll move into. Well, definitely sports is, is one, of the, one of the secondary products um, that we have within our national tourism strategy. Currently, uh, Qatar uh, National Olympic Committee hosts about more, a little bit more than 40 events a year um, in Qatar. Um, the World Cup being a huge uh, milestone within the history of the country and currently the, the uh, World Cup is being used as an accelerator for the various infrastructure uh, work that the country aspires and hopes uh, to have to uh, achieve its national vision 2030 and obviously the tourism sector is no, is no different. So we're obviously using this deadline, if you, if, if you can say, to deliver on, on, uh, on that and obviously develop our tourism. Uh, strategy. As you well said, there's about 122 properties currently uh, being constructed as we speak and they will be coming to the market within the next three years. And we're hoping that, um, uh, um, and obviously more rooms will be coming into the market to the build up to the World Cup and beyond. Well, thank you very much for your thoughts. I'll let you go back to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.